what Title IX is, is um, an opportunity to play and compete and be given those opportunities because you deserve them, because you have the talent, because you have the drive, because you have the passion, because you have the love. In 1992, 11 female student athletes at Brown University sent a wake-up call across the country. They sued Brown for gender discrimination under Title IX when their school got rid of the women's gymnastics team, and they won. Because Brown had one of the most gender equal sports programs in the nation, the shockwave from that victory would be felt nationwide, inspiring other young athletes to take on their schools in similar battles. The women's softball program at Cornell University was granted varsity status in 1994, but the team found themselves lacking the resources they needed to compete as players. My freshman year at Cornell was the second season that the team was varsity. We shared a locker with the women's volleyball team. We had a part-time head coach. We didn't have practice uniforms. We were usually the last team to practice in the uh, turf room, and sometimes practices would start as late as 10.30 at night and go till 1 in the morning. Hey, that's it, right on the money. Most importantly was the field, whereas every other team on campus had a place to play right here within walking distance. Our field was in Lansing, New York, which is a town about 25 minutes away. The conditions were just terrible. If it ever rained, the drainage was, was so terrible that we had pools of water behind the backstop and out in right field. When I was a sophomore at Cornell, really increased its commitment to the program and hired a full-time head coach. Make that play right. Come on now, let's go. Once we got Coach Blood, we noticed tremendous differences right away. Ah, shoot, that babe, nice work. Our team was already making great strides, and we just felt strongly that if we wanted to be successful and win a championship, it was going to be extremely difficult traveling out 25 minutes to a field. How can a team expect to play basketball if it doesn't have a basketball court? How can a team play squash with no squash courts? How could a softball team expect to compete in Division I or any, any level without a place to play? Cornell has always had a strong history of promoting women's sports. While they were moving forward, it was somewhat slower than many of the female athletes would have liked. It was, what, the, the fifth year as a varsity sport, and if they were really serious about the sport in the beginning, they should have had the field before they even added women's softball. We have not just simply forgotten them. We started early on, as much as two years ago, trying to identify uh, donors who could get the funds for the field. I felt that there's something that could be done to make things happen more quickly. And I started to realize that there have been schools in the past that have used the law and Title IX more specifically to get equity. Wendy called me a year and a half ago. They were a varsity team when she called, but she says they didn't have anything that went, that went with it. And she thought it wasn't quite right. And I certainly thought it was not quite right. We certainly probably had somewhat of an explosive situation where uh, if something wasn't done at some point, somebody might be pulling the trigger. I said that I would like to get some things for this team. If I couldn't, I would have to start an action that is a federal action. Right away, we were, they were able to switch our locker rooms, and they were able to find us money to get uniforms and to order uh, pitching machines and more equipment. The field, obviously, it's a huge project, was going to take longer. got to have the money before you start any project. Title IX states that a university cannot use financial difficulties as a reason not to put money into a program. They can take money from one sport and give it to another. They can take money from all kinds of of uh, funds that, that most of the big schools have. So the athletic director basically started building the field without a secured donation. The actual playing part of the field is complete. They just have to put in the bases and line it and probably they'll grade it a little bit. A big Cornell flag and the American flag will probably sit either in center field or on top of the scoreboard. So it was going to be a nice complex once it's all complete. When I do look at the field, I do feel pride, pride for my teammates and pride for myself that this is all in the works because of the success that our team had and because of promoting women's sports. When I come back in 10 years or 20 years when I have my own children and I'm going to show them, you know, this is where your mom played softball. Put me in, coach.